I'm gonna eat, eat a slice of humble pie and admit I don't feel like I know very much about Norwalk at all. I've done some work down here with some clients. I can tell you about some residential neighborhoods, but as far as the city goes, I've brought Jim with me today. As per usual, he knows much more than I do about Des Moines with 40 years of living here compared to my one. Uh, so that'll be very helpful. But <laughs> Jim, could you give us just a brief, like why do people choose to live in Norwalk? I think, you know, if you like a smaller town, atmosphere. Uh, we're kind of in the old original part of Norwalk coming up here on their main street. But if you want a smaller school district, uh, if you like to be out a little bit, uh, if you like recreation, they've got three golf courses, two private and one public course out here. But they've got most, if not all, the amenities you know that most people are looking for in a small town community. So, Yeah, this is a pretty small main street area. It, it really is just this intersection this is right most here. of this it yeah it. you've got a bank and library and and um, just some of the old buildings and stuff but most of the retail is still along highway um, the beltway as i should say so, so i would say i'll contribute some knowledge if you're looking for a place to live that has a really great main street more of like norwalk has a small town feel agricultural districts very spread out it's quiet it's safe um, Valley Junction in West Des Moines is going to have more of a Main Street yes. than the feel here. And it's been just a little sleepy village for the most part during my experience in 40 years here uh, up until the Beltway went in, which is a circular interstate, you might say, around the city of Des Moines. Once that went in, it really opened up a lot of Norwalk's access to downtown and other areas like West Des Moines, etc. Yeah. So Jim and I today, we're just going to be showing you around Norwalk a little bit, explaining the parts that are developing up and coming some high end expensive houses, some more affordable houses. Um, we are both realtors in the Des Moines Metro, and we're making this video to help you figure out if Norwalk would be a good fit for you. If you have any questions for us about anything in this video, about where you might want to live if you're relocating to the area, or if you already live in the area and are thinking about a move or really anything else real estate related at all that we can help with, please give us a call. We'd love to help out in any way we can. This is that small town feel we're talking about when you live in certain parts of Norwalk. You're, you're only 15 minutes from Jordan Creek and West Des Moines right now, but it feels like, it feels like a much, much smaller part of Iowa. Jim, tell me a little about this. You want me to tell you a little bit about it? I, I wouldn't have asked if I... Are you filming this? Yeah, thing? I am, yeah. Okay. Um, this is a heart of a project called Norwalk Central, and uh, it's a big sports campus. It's 72 acres of uh, ground that obviously they're putting baseball, softball facilities together, plus an indoor public recreation facility, sports complex, uh, parking, health, retail. There's going to be restaurants and other things that surround this, hotels as well too. It's going to have some uh, regional projects and be a nice drawing area here for the city of Norwalk. Plus, I think they've got a public uh, outdoor space here for entertaining as well, too. So, yeah, there's some residential back here, just literally seconds. I don't think you could live much closer to a sports complex. No, than you could right here. No, and these look a little bit nicer than what I grew up on. <laughs> we'll give you guys a look at these fields that they're putting in. Jim, so these are going to be, do you know, community, like public access? If you live in Norwalk, you can use these? Or do you have I to, think Norwalk, yeah. I, I don't know if they have a sports recreation area. Uh -huh. They're going to have tournaments here. Okay. They're going to have, I'm sure, uh, games here for local residents. Yep. But also, I think the main thing is to draw in competitions, uh, like what we saw in Dallas Center, mm -hmm. or Grimes, I should say, and other communities, yep. too draw people in, have restaurants, have hotels, bring revenue in, and yep. and just be a, a 
point of pride in the community yeah. itself. 70 acres out here that's going to turn into what you saw on that billboard a few seconds ago. As far as community events go, Norwalk doesn't have a ton of recurring like farmers markets. As far as to my knowledge, let us know in the comments if we're wrong about that. But they do every once in a while host events here at Mackinish. Or I'm sure once that new complex is built, that's going to be yeah, a Norwalk location Commons, of a lot yeah. of Norwalk Commons. Yep, a lot of those events, and they do have on their on Norwalk City website. They do a good job of keeping a calendar of all the upcoming community events for the residents and. So the legacy that is a neighborhood, but also a golf course, right? Yeah, it's a planned development uh, of Hubble's. It's got commercial space along Highway 28, uh, bordered by uh, townhomes, apartments, uh, ventures, like here's a preschool, I believe. And then it does have a, a nice 18 hole public golf course out here as well too, bordered by residential housing, so. Give me a quick price flyby. These townhomes are in the 200s, yeah, low 200s. Mostly uh, probably to low 200s on up, depend upon what they've done. Um, and then single family homes out here would probably be mostly in the 350 range and higher, depending upon amenities. And as you can see, two of the three golf courses again down here uh, have housing that borders them. So if, if you like golf and if you like privacy out your backyard, Norwalk's the place to be. What's this, remind me what this neighborhood is called, Jim? The Ridge. The Ridge, okay. At Echo Valley, so. Would this be uh, the highest end neighborhood, you would say, in Norwalk? Oh, the Ridge in this area out here, they're newer homes, the lots are more expensive. You've got a private golf course that uh, inter, uh, goes in between. So yeah, it's it's probably the high-end homes of, of um, the Norwalk community here. So let me look at the detail on that. Oh yeah. Yeah, they are beautiful. And I think that is where did I, am, I, am I missing anything, Jim? Is this where we're wrapping up today? You're think, driving the cam? Yeah, I'm just yeah, driving no, the No, we are. That's where we're wrapping up today. If you guys... We're going to go through Colchester. Yeah. Oh, Colchester, right. Okay, right. never mind. I thought you were pulling something different. No, I haven't had no over to one more neighborhood. You to are show the you producer, the editor. Yes, <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're, just, you're just the knowledge. <laughs> we're going to go right. show you the Colchester Lake. Is that... Lake Colchester. Lake Colchester, yeah. Yep, and there's a neighborhood around there with some more affordable housing, stuff that I would actually be able to afford. Not these, <laughs> not these insane, insanely large, nice houses. So, so this is Lake Colchester. Yes. Okay, and we are in the Lakewood. Lakewood Village area. Village. Yep. Tell me about the houses back here. Uh, this was developed, if I remember right, probably '70s for the most part, early '80s. Um, a lot of the typical homes here in the Des Moines area from split foyers to two stories to ranches to split levels. But um, most of these homes today would probably be in that 250 to three, 400 range for the most part. But yeah. You think the ones back into the lake would be much higher than that? Or yes, still? Okay. the ones back into the lake. And we're coming from east to west. As you go a little bit further west, there's some newer additions where the homes were built a little bit newer. Uh, had higher prices and are a little bit pricey, but it's kind of a nice place where you can put a, a non-motorized boat in. You got a park area right here for residents. There's a small HOA, but that's basically just to maintain some of the features we just drove by. There's an elementary school right in this development to Lakewood Elementary. In terms of commute times from Norwalk, Jim was mentioning the Beltway. You still, I mean, you've still got pretty easy access to the rest of the Metro, West Des Moines, most of West Des Moines is about 15 minutes from here. If you're going up to the north side, like Johnston, you're looking at a 30 minute drive, depending on which part of Johnston. Over east to Altoona or Des Moines proper, what would you say? 10, not 10. Depending on where you're 15, going. 20, yeah. yeah, 10, 15 minutes. Yep. I mean, really you can do the whole Beltway loop in uh, probably an hour or less. Yeah. Well, that is where we are actually 
going to wrap up today. I really appreciate you guys watching, taking the time to watch it through to the end. I hope these videos are actually helpful to you. If they're not, please let us know. We really appreciate honest feedback, whether good or bad. If there's any parts of the Des Moines Metro that you want to know more about, maybe it's a real estate topic, a question you have, or an area you want us to highlight another vlog tour like this, you can let me know in the comments below. You can shoot me a text, give me a call. I'll throw my personal cell up on the screen. I'd love to hear from you. I have quite a few clients right now who have reached out from YouTube videos. We're helping them find a place in the Des Moines Metro, and it is just tons of fun to do that, to get to meet you all. So please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any interest in moving here or if there is anything at all that Jim or I could do for you. And that's all I've got. Oh, hit the like and subscribe button, click the bell so that you get a notification when a new video gets posted. Appreciate you guys.